I'm interested in finding out what you think your best broadcasting was. That doesn't mean necessarily mm. most enjoyable or most fun, because I can tell you I was on air when the planes hit the tower. Oh, wow. And I was on air for the first Christchurch earthquake. Yeah. Um, the second Christchurch earthquake hit during lunchtime. Yeah. And I was on air at midnight that night. Damn. So I have to tell you that um, the the best broadcasting I ever did was the Twin Towers. I was actually working for More FM. Yeah. And I stayed on, worked with Kim and Corbett and Paul Ego. Yeah, and yeah. obviously it's a comedy show, but we did four hours of... Like not comedy. Of, yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> and that I look back on that as the best radio I've done. Yeah, right. But I tell you, that second earthquake in Christchurch, I wasn't on air for the actual quake, but sitting in a studio when people can't sleep because it's the middle of the night hearing those mm. stories, on there was a moment I remember, I don't know whether it was on the first night or the second night or the fifth night or whatever, um, I needed a break. And I've yeah. got a friend called Cindy Ruakiri, and she's done a version of the New Zealand National Anthem. And at... Uh, five o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the morning I just needed a break mm. you know and I just felt like playing this anthem this national anthem and I was mm. just I'm just gonna play this guys I need a break da, da, da. and it played and I was in that old ZB studio yeah, yeah. sobbing yeah. and sobbing and sobbing and then 5am roll around and we go into the kind of last 20 minutes of talkback and I actually mm. went on air and said look I apologize because I did this thing earlier and I really did it for myself I would need a break mm. and I needed to hear it but mm. I actually said as I was playing it I just wonder if other people need to hear it Mm. And so I played it again, the whole thing. And Polly and Grant from ZM and the classic hits guys, because obviously all the breakfast things are driving yeah, yeah, in, yeah. and they all heard it. And by the end of that day, I think that version of the National Anthem <laughs> had been <laughs> downloaded yeah. 10,000 times. Yeah, yeah. And so there's these moments that, it's I mean, funny, that's eh? not it's not nice broadcasting. No, but it's it not happy, yeah. but it's the best I've ever done. Yeah, yeah. It's See, that's that's interesting, isn't it? It's just, it is, it's a simple connection, though, eh? And those little does something it, like does something anything like come can, to mind for you? That oh, kind of uh, best stuff? for me, I mean, honestly, I was uh, really, really proud of my stuff uh, in Christchurch just a few recently. Weeks ago. Yep. Yeah, wow. um, and I don't know how many people watched it, but it was just one of those things where uh, I was kind of working by myself uh, with with the producer. But um, you know, like I was um, no scripts, teleprompters, anything like that for for three hours a day, and just. But just I felt like my tone, you know, kind of I just felt like my tone was exactly the way that most people in Christchurch were feeling. Um, I, a couple of other things, I think um, the when Hurricane Sandy hit New York, mm -hmm. I was in New York and I was in the middle. We had this office that we worked out of with a little studio on 33rd Street in Manhattan and um, in the middle of the in the middle of a hurricane, uh, the power in the lower part of Manhattan was completely cut off. I don't mm. know if you remember this. But um, so it was about 11 o'clock at night or 12 o'clock at night in New York, and we decided to do the special. So they decided to start the news at 5 p.m. that evening. And I walked across New York in the middle, like in the literally in the eye of a hurricane. And I remember um, standing in a phone booth just off Fifth Avenue. And so Fifth Avenue is completely dark. Imagine what this is like. There's almost no human. It's like a post-apocalyptic thing. You know, you're standing on Fifth Avenue. There are no people around. Completely dark. Because so Fifth, Fifth Avenue just flows. We don't like that. That's like one of the busy. It's like, like, it's Square like Queen almost. Street or, yeah, 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 I mean, it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill Mall, yeah, Queen yeah, Street. Yeah, it's cra yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah. Um, the Octagon. It's the light. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the, it goes right down the heart of, of Manhattan Island. Yeah. And, there are no cars or no, there's nothing, right? And so anyway, I'm standing in the phone booth and um, I got a bar of reception because all the cell towers had gone down. So I got a bar of reception and called my boss and said, ah, and yeah. as I'm doing it, stuff's hitting the side <laughs> hitting the side of the phone booth, like debris and detritus that's flying through the air. No. And I am psyched. Like I'm fucking pumped <laughs> up, man. I'm so excited. And I was like, ah, you know, we've lost power. Blah, blah, blah. And anyway, uh, we arranged for me to go live elsewhere across town but i had to basically traverse across manhattan carrying my camera carrying my tripod in the middle of a hurricane to get to this live point and then get in there stand in this position with a fixed camera that they'd set up on the roof of the associated press and just kind of go live for you know seven or eight minutes at a time with the i think it was simon um or wendy throwing to me the the host in new zealand throwing to me and just saying you know like oh and we hear that you know, a nuclear power station just up the road from you has been affected. But I was just totally kind of, you know, oscillating at this new speed or whatever. Um, 
and then afterwards <laughs> just being you know getting off air and just being like because it had basically been me for the best part of an hour in the middle of a hurricane yeah you know by myself on the other side of the world but it was just yeah it was wonderful